Unit 7 Exercise number 8 Unit 7 Part 2 Interchange 1 Now, look at the picture What do you see? Swimming A person who is swimming This one, what's he doing? A wave Big wave He's riding on the wave So this is called what? Waves riding, waves riding, surfing, surfing, waves riding, surfing contest, contest, competition, contest, competition, competition for surfing, competition for waves riding. This is surfing board, this green one, surfing board. A surfing board, a board for surfing. This is sport called surfing. Surfing sport, surfing contest, competition for choosing the best surfer. Surfer, this is a surfer, a person who rides waves. Exercise number eight, conversation. How was your vacation? Listen and practice. Let's listen and practice. Page 47. Exercise 8. Conversation. How was your vacation? Part A. Listen and practice. Hi, Don. How was your vacation? It was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. Lucky you. How long were you there? About a week. Fantastic. Was the weather okay? Not really. It was cloudy most of the time. But we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. So what was the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happened. You won't believe it. Listen again. Exercise 8. Conversation. How was your vacation? Part A. Listen and practice. Hi, Don. How was your vacation? It was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. Lucky you. How long were you there? About a week. Fantastic. Was the weather okay? Not really. It was cloudy most of the time. But we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. So what was the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happened. You won't believe it. How was your vacation? Celia and Don. What are Celia and Don talking about? They are talking about Don's vacation. Where did he go? Don went to Hawaii. Did Don go alone? No. He went with his cousin. Did they have a bad time? No, they had a great time. Don and his cousin had a great time. How long were Don and his cousin there? For how long? How long did they stay in Hawaii? About a week, for one week. Was the weather okay? Was the weather okay? No. No, it wasn't. The weather was cloudy, not sunny. The weather was cloudy most of the time. It wasn't sunny. Don, Don and his cousin went surfing every day. The waves, the waves were amazing. Waves were amazing. The waves were wonderful. What was the best thing about the trip? The trip, the vacation. What was the best thing about the vacation? Something incredible happened. Incredible, amazing. Something amazing happened. Imagine, what happened? Hmm. You won't believe it. You will not believe it. Believe it, yeah, sound. Believe and it, believe it. Yeah, sound. 
Believe it. You won't believe it. You won't believe it. Imagine what happened. Hmm. Try to guess what happened. One was about to sink, and Don quickly jumped over the surfing board and saved him. Maybe there was a shark, and the shark was coming to attack Don. So Don, Don rode a big wave and ran away. He escaped from narrow death. He escaped from the shark. He saved his life. Maybe he won the surfing contest. He won the surfing competition. And he got a big prize, a big present. Let's listen to number B. What happened? Exercise 8, Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What happened? So, tell me, what happened? Well, like I said, I went surfing every day. One day, I entered a contest, and I won. I got first prize. Wow, congratulations. But that's not all. After I won the contest, a man asked me to model for Hawaiian Surf Magazine. I'm in next month's edition. Can you believe it? A model. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What happened? So, tell me, what happened? Well, like I said, I went surfing every day. One day, I entered a contest, and I won. I got first prize. Wow, congratulations. But that's not all. After I won the contest, a man asked me to model for Hawaiian Surf Magazine. I'm in next month's edition. Can you believe it? A model. Quickly, write the answer. Don went surfing every day. He won a contest, and a man asked him to model in a magazine. Don went surfing every day. He won a contest, he won the competition, and a man asked him to model in a magazine. The man asked him to model in Hawaii magazine. Exercise number 9, grammar focus, past of verb to be. Verb to be in the back. Exercise 9, grammar focus. Past of B. Were you in Hawaii? Yes, I was. Was the weather okay? No, it wasn't. Were you and your cousin on vacation? Yes, we were. Were your parents there? No, they weren't. How long were you away? I was away for a week. How was your vacation? It was excellent. Contractions. Wasn't equals was not. Weren't equals were not. Verb to be, we use verb to be to describe. Describe, describe people, describe things. Example, I am, I am a student. He, he is a teacher, he is a teacher, he is a teacher, she, she is Ahlam, she is Shayma, she is Heba, we, we are friends, we are friends, you, you are nice, you are nice, nice, good person, you are good. You are good, you are nice. They. Hmm. Look at this. They are doctors. They are doctors. They are doctors. So after verb to be here, doctors, teacher, job. Ahlam, shayma, heba, name. Nice, good, adjective. 
So, after verb to be, I am, he, she, it, is, we, you, they, are, plus adjective, name, job. Past of verb to be. Present, am, is, are. Past, am, was. He, she, it, is. Past, was. We, you, they, are, in present. Past, were. Negative, negative, wasn't, weren't. I wasn't. He, she, it, wasn't. We, you, they, weren't. Where, weren't. Okay, now it's time for today's grammar. And today's grammar is the past of be, was, and were. Now, for the subjects I, she, he, and it, the singular subjects, one person, or one thing, we use was, and the negative wasn't. Was and wasn't for the singular subjects, I, she, he, and it. Also, when we use there is in English for the present tense, the past tense singular is there was. Now, for the subjects you, they, and we, the plural subjects for people or things, we use were and weren't for the negative. Now remember, you in English can be one person or it can be multiple people. So for that reason, we use you as a plural subject and we use were and weren't with you. Also remember, when we use there are in English, in the past we say there were. Okay, now let's look at the uses of was and were. We always use was and were for descriptions of the past. So, do you remember the picture? Well, let's look at some sentences. For example, the weather was bad. The weather was bad, a description of the weather. There were three students in the class. Again, a description of the quantity of students in the class. There were three students in the class. Peter and Jill were on time for class. Again, it's a description of Jill and Peter. Mrs. Johnson was mad. Again, a description of the feelings or emotions of Mrs. Johnson. Albert Einstein was a scientist. That's a description of Albert Einstein and his job. And Albert Einstein was born in Germany. It's a description of Albert Einstein and the place he was born. Now, in English, we use the verb be and a description word, born, to represent this action in a person's life. For example, I was born in 1985. Was is the verb and born is the description. I was born in 1985. Very important. When we use born, we always use the verb be. And in the past tense, we use I was born in 1985. Or, for example, he was born in Denver, Colorado. Or, 
they. They were born in the same hospital. Yes and no questions with was and were. Remember, in English, when we use a question, we always start with an auxiliary verb, and then the subject, and then the other part of the question. So, using was and were in the past tense, we have a question like this. Was Albert Einstein from the USA? Again, was is the auxiliary be in the past tense. And Albert Einstein is the subject. Was Albert Einstein from the USA? This is a yes, no question. So we need an answer. For the answer, we use yes or no, the subject, was or wasn't, were or weren't. Remember, was and wasn't is for the singular subjects. Were and weren't is for the plural subjects. So for example, was Albert Einstein from the United States? The answer, no, he wasn't. Let's look at another example. Were Peter and Jill on time for class? Again, were is the past auxiliary of be. Peter and Jill is the subject. Were Peter and Jill on time for class? The answer, yes, they were. So remember guys, in the question for the past tense with was and were, we start with the auxiliary was or were and then we use the subject. WH questions. Question word, what, where, when, why, how, plus was or where, was he? Was she? Was it? Where? Were we? Were you? Were they? Example Where was he? He was in Alex. He was on vacation in Alex. What was the wizard like? What was the wizard like? The wizard was good. The wizard was okay. It was sunny. How was he? How was he? He was fine. He was okay. Complete these conversations, then practice with a partner. 1. How long? Your parents in Europe. Your parents, mom and dad, they. How long? Where? How long were your parents in Europe? They? They were there for two weeks. They were there for two weeks. They in London the whole time? Where? Were they in London the whole time? No, they weren't. They also went to Paris. Number one answers. Where? 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 Weren't. Number two. You in Los Angeles last weekend, LA, Los Angeles, LA. Were you in LA last weekend? Were you in LA last weekend? 
Were you in Los Angeles last weekend? No, I wasn't. I was in San Francisco. How was it? How was it? It was great. But it was foggy and cool as usual. But it. T, soft D. Between you and I. But it. But it was foggy and cool as usual. Number two answers again. Where? Wasn't. Was. 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 Number three. You were away last weekend. You. Where? Were you away last weekend? Yes, I was. Yes, I was in Istanbul. Really? How long were you there? How long were you there? For almost a week. I was there in business for almost, for almost, L silent, for almost, for almost a week. For almost a week, I was there in business, L silent, because there is A before L. The answers number three, where, was, where, was. Exercise 10, discussion, discussion, on vacation. A. Group work. Ask your classmates about their last vacations. Ask these questions or your own ideas. In this exercise, you will ask your friend some questions about the last holiday. Then, he will answer in the past. Example. Where did you spend your last vacation? I traveled to Sharm el Sheikh. How long? How long were you away? One week. Who were you with? I went with my brother. I was with my brother. What did you do there? What did you do there? I swam in the sea. I swam. What did you do there? I swam in the sea. I went surfing. I built sand castles. How was the weather? The weather was okay. It was sunny. It wasn't cloudy. It wasn't foggy. It was warm. How was the food? How was the food? The food was great. It was delicious. In Sharm el Sheikh, there are wonderful restaurants. Do you want to go there again? Would you like to go to Sharm el Sheikh again? Sure. Of course. Sharm el Sheikh is a paradise. Exercise number 12. Writing an online post. Read this an online post. So here, this is Casey. And this is a postcard. A postcard, you have a picture. some information such as a letter Casey Greetings from Cancun Cancun is a very wonderful city in Mexico Greetings from Cancun I'm having a great time Yesterday I took a tour 
to the mine ruins of Chekinitz. Of a Chekinitz, this is a name of place. Of this is the Mayan ruins. Ruins monuments. A kind of civilizations Mayan. They were amazing. This morning, I went to the beach, and then went shopping in the city. I bought some beautiful Mexican silver jewelry. I bought some beautiful Mexican silver jewels. Jewels. Last night, I tried the famous local lime soup. Lime soup. Soup with lemon. This was a great vacation. This was a great vacation. So, Casey wrote a postcard to her friends about her vacation to Mexico. Now, let's ask some questions about this postcard. Where was Casey? Casey was in Mexico. In which city? She's in Cancun. Does she have a great time? Yes, she has a great time. What did she do yesterday? She took a tour to the Mayan ruins. What did she do this morning? She went to the beach and then went shopping in the city. What did she buy? She bought some beautiful Mexican silver jewelry. What did she eat last night? She ate the local lime soup. What was her vacation like? It was a great vacation. B. Write an online post to a partner about your last vacation. Then exchange messages. Do you have any questions about the vacation? Now this is going to be homework. You're going to write an online post to your friend about your last vacation. Then you exchange messages between you and your friend. Do you have any questions about the last vacation? Part A. Listen to Jason and Barbara talk about their vacations. Write where they went and what they did there. Jason, hi! Welcome back! You were away last week, right? Yeah, I was on vacation. Where did you go? I went to San Francisco. Nice! How was it? Oh, I loved it. It's a really pretty city. So, why San Francisco? Oh, my sister lives there. I stayed with her. She loves to shop, so we went shopping every day. Look, I got this sweater. Nice. I didn't go anywhere on my life. Jason. Now, Jason, where did Jason go? Jason went to San Francisco. So the answer, San Francisco. What's San Francisco like? It's a really pretty city. Pretty city. A beautiful city. Why San Francisco? Because his sister lives there. So the answer, Jason, where they went? San Francisco. What they did? He went shopping with his sister went shopping with his sister what did he buy he bought a sweater again the answer jason san francisco went shopping with his sister did he enjoy it yes he enjoyed it a lot now let's listen to barbara nice I didn't go anywhere on my last vacation. I didn't have enough money to go anywhere. Oh, that's too bad. 
Oh, not really. I actually enjoyed my vacation a lot. A friend from college stayed with me for a week. We just talked and watched a lot of old movies. That sounds fun too. Barbara. Where did Barbara go? She stayed home. Why? Because she didn't have enough money. She didn't have enough money to go on vacation. What did she do? She stayed home with her friend. One of her friends visited her for one week. They stayed home for one week. What did they do? They watched old movies, old DVDs. They talked a lot. Did they enjoy it? Yes. So Barbara stayed home, watch all DVDs. She watched all movies. Yes. Reading vacation posts. Look at the pictures. What do you see each person did in his or her vacation? So in this exercise, we're going to have different posts for three vacations. This is the first picture. What do you see? Different statues. Where are they? Maybe this is a museum. They are Chinese. So this is the first vacation, the first post. Rachel. Terracotta warriors. Warriors, fighters. A warrior, a fighter. British fighter, American fighter. I arrived in China two weeks ago, but my trip is almost over. So Rachel went to China. Her trip is about to be finished. It's almost over. I'm with a group from the university. The, the university. I am with a group from the university who stayed with families in Beijing. We stayed with families for a week. We studied Mandarin every day. Mandarin, this is a kind of culture, civilization, and I practiced a lot with my host family. The family that I was living with. Then. My group took a trip to Xi'an. This is a name of place in China. We saw the terracotta statues. The terracotta statues these statues in China, they're very famous. And learning about Chinese history. I'm tired, but I loved every minute of my trip. So this is Rachel and she has a wonderful vacation. So let's ask some questions. Where did Rachel go to China? She went there two weeks ago. Did she go alone? No. She went with a group from the university. Where did Rachel stay? She stayed with family. For how long? For a week. What did she study? She studied Mandarin every day. The Mandarin culture. What did she see in Exian? This is a name of place in China. She saw the terracotta statues. She saw the terracotta statues. 
What did she learn? She learned a lot about Chinese history. Did she like her trip? She loved every minute of her trip. This is the first postcard. And let's go to the second one. The second post. Hijin. Sanibel Island, Florida. This is the second post. Look at the picture. What do you see? You see here. Someone who is fishing. Catching fish. And there is a very, very big sea. Maybe it's a sea. An ocean. A boat. So this is like a beach. Here's Jean. Sensible Island, Florida. I just spent a week at a yogi retreat in Florida. So what's the retreat? A retreat is vacation where people go to exercise and become healthier. Every day, I did yoga. Went for long walks on the beach. I walked on the beach. Collected seashells. And ate great vegetarian food. Vegetarian food. Foods that contain no animal products. Vegetables and fruit only. No meat, no chicken, no fish. I also learned how to play tennis. I feel fantastic. Now, I'm gonna visit friends in Miami for a few days. Going to Ghana. Click on my photo album to see more pictures. Now this is Sensible Island in Florida. So hey Jean, let's ask some question about her post. Where did she go? She went to Florida. For how long? She spent a week. What did she do? She did yoga. She went for long walks on the beach. She collected seashells and ate vegetarian food. What did she learn? She learned how to play tennis. What is she going to do next? She's going to visit her friend in Miami for a few days. She's going to Shigana. She's gonna visit her friend in Miami for a few days. The third post, Chris. Look at the picture here, you see what? Ice glaciers. And there are also Mountains. This is a natural place, the nature, a wonderful place. Let's start to read. Chris, greetings from Chile. Chile is amazing. Amazing, wonderful. I just returned from a trip to the Torres del Pen National Park. So Chris went to the National Park. We took a plane to a boat to a bus to get to the park. So we took an aeroplane. After they took the aeroplane, they took a ship. And after the ship, they took a bus to get to the park, to reach the park. I was with four other friends. We camped outside and hiked around the park for 10 days. We camped, camp to sleep in a tent hiked around the park to walk for long time hike to walk for long time i saw glaciers glacier a very large piece of ice 
that moves very slowly. Glaciers, a very big piece of ice. I saw glaciers and lots of wildlife. Wildlife, nature. Including some pink flamingos. Pink flamingo. A flamingo is a tall pink bird. Flamingo. A tall pink bird. Now I'm back in Santiago for a week. Now I'm going to return to Santiago for one week. Let's ask some questions about Chris. So, where did Chris go? Chris went to Chile. What's Chile like? Chile is amazing. It's a wonderful place. How did she reach the Torres del Paine National Park? Chris took a plane to a boat to a bus. Did Chris go alone? No, with four other friends. What did Chris do? What did he do with his friends? They camped outside and hiked around the park for 10 days. What did he see? He saw glaciers and lots of wildlife. He saw some pink flamingos. A. Read the online post, then write the number of the post where each sentence could go. So in this exercise, you write the number of the post. One to three, okay? It was a long trip, but I was so happy after we got there. So this is of course number three. Post number three. Chris. I really recommended this place. It's very relaxing. Which one has a relaxing vacation? This is post number two. Post two. I had a great trip. I had a great trip, but now I need a vacation. So this is number one. So the answers, three, two, one. B, per work. Answer these questions. Which person had a fitness vacation? Who learned a lot on vacation? Who had a vacation that was full of adventure? Adventure, risk, danger, risk and danger. Which vacation sounds the most interesting to you and why? Now let's check the answers. Answers. One, he, Jen, had a fitness vacation. He, Jen, had a fitness vacation. Two, Rachel learned a lot on vacation. Three, Chris had a vacation that was full of adventure. Four, different answers. Now, let's start. Exercise eight, vacation. Vacation, holiday, cruise, a vacation in the river, voyage, a vacation in the sea. So voyage, a vacation, a vacation in the sea, trip, short journey, beauty contest, beauty, T soft D, beauty contest, competition, for choosing the most beautiful. Competition for choosing the most beautiful. Beautiful, T of D. Prize, gift. A model, to model. To be a model on the cover of the magazine. To model, to be a model. Hawaiian Surf Magazine. Hawaiian Surf Magazine. Dishon. Addition. Incredible, amazing, picnic, picnic, to have fun in the nature, picnic, to have fun in the nature, contest, contest, 
O A American contest contest competition British contest competition exercise nine the whole time all the time foggy foggy full of fog O A British foggy full of fog Istanbul the capital of Turkey also Istanbul 11 a postcard terrific wonderful great jewelry jewels go on a tour to visit different places to visit different places go on a tour 12 12 the words of the passage sculpture that look like people caves large underground holes caves large underground holes spa a health resort spa health resort a vacation place where people become healthier spa health resort meditated thought of only one thing to calm one's mind calm el silent vegetarian food food that contains no animal products food that contains no animal products vegetarian food snorkeling snorkeling swimming with a mask and a tube to breathe underwater snorkeling swimming with a mask and a tube so short snorkeling swimming with a mask and a tube rafts rubber boats filled with air rafts rubber boats filled with air wildlife wild animals and birds wildlife wild animals and birds workbook unit 7 2 art exhibition art gallery art exhibition art exhibition art gallery art exhibition art gallery park garden amusement having fun 5 research paper 7 excited very happy a river taxi a boat the floating market the floating market t soft d floating british american floating the floating market ruins nine definitely absolutely the national park the national park meerkats meerkats switzerland switzerland canton europe switzerland the canton europe beach sandy comfortable shore sandy comfortable shore beach sandy comfortable shore welcome, welcome. Share videos. It's a community. We're all doing this together. <laughs>